told everyone about on Instagram. I just want to say that I was a little bit offended the other day. I went into Dan Murphy's and I was having a little bit of a stock up. And there was this tall blonde boy and he was about 20. And, you know, my brain's always in, in the toilet, in the comedy toilet. And, you know, there, there was a little bit to purchase. And I put it down and he gave me a dirty look and he made me feel not good about myself. So I cracked a joke and I said to him, I said, you know how it is. I don't want to have to come back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's pretty funny. And, and he didn't laugh. He didn't and he, see the funny he side looked of at me like I was a piece of poop. And I was like, I don't think you're meant to make your customers feel bad for <laughs> buying your products. So if Dan Murphy's manager's out there, can we be a little bit more sympathetic to middle-aged people <laughs> by now? <laughs> Are we, are we talking, like, how many trolley loads are you... No, used? there was just, like, five bottles of booze, but he, this kid, I was like, how dare you? What do you know about life? You've never suffered. No. You're 20. Anyway, people are strange. Sing it, Pete. <laughs> well, there it is. Oh, sleepy. People are strange when you're Woo! a stranger. <laughs> it's a good song, and people are strange, uh, apart from the employee at... Uh, Dan yes. Murphy's. Yeah, I thought that was We should be strange. sponsored by Dan Murphy's. Well, we won't be now, will we? <laughs> no. So, uh, you know how I love my dogs, Pete, right? You know yeah. I'm a crazy dog person. Flo is a crazy cat lady. I'm a crazy dog lady. In fact, Alicia, whose birthday it is today, sent me a mug for Christmas that says crazy dog lady. And by the way, Alicia, the coffee tastes really good out of that, so thank you. Um, and you, yeah, She's so, right. So he, he, here's the two things I like that we know. I've just mentioned I like wine <laughs> yes. and I like my dogs, right? Yeah. So I never imagined imagined in all my born days that there would be an activity that would combine wine and dogs. However, I reckon somebody has combined alcohol and dogs. A dog show? Not exactly, because apparently the new craze is now called glitter balls. And we're referring to dogs' testicles. Oh, no, don't. We don't They're do dipping this. them in glitter. It's no. on Instagram, right? So no. I, I thought to myself, the only way this can come about is if one of those people that does dog grooming, and it was a dog groomer that came up with it in the States, was out, drunk, went home, sat on the couch, looked down. This is the giant standard poodle they've done it to and thought, I know what I'll Look, do. We need while to keep this show up. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'll this do. Segment. But I don't even know if that's legal. I've put the picture no. on Instagram because I'm sure if, like, you know, because isn't it, aren't they, aren't they outside the body because they're meant to have fresh air? Doesn't that combat the abil availability? This is this is like the uh, the jiggers. <laughs> I wouldn't be doing this to any dog. No, so um, you know, we're, we're, yeah, no, I'm sorry, Pete. I had to bring it up because I really think that this is wrong. What they're doing? Can we say they've crossed the line there? Of what's it's sensible? It's not a toffee apple that you're trying to put no. grated nuts on. No. no. <laughs>